guys so today I'm going to be doing a blush declutter along with some highlighter declutters I'm gonna be straight up honest I don't know how many highlighters I'll really get rid of because I absolutely love my highlights let's see hi I'm here so I accidentally started recording and I need to I needed to start all over again but we'll just pretend like I didn't do this but I basically got rid of let's just start into the video because I know a ton of you like declutters in my previous declutter video I did primers and also foundation so I'll link that somewhere over here so first thing I decluttered were all these Milani blushes I had repeats of two of the shades so I got rid of these two and then these three I decided you know what the heck with this I'm just gonna toss them because well not toss them, I'm gonna pass them on to friends or family and I'm gonna see who may want them. I also had questions on people asking what I do with the makeup. So if it is able to be used again and it's already, sorry, <laughs> I wanted to explain something really quick. If it is already been used, uh, I'll sanitize it if it's not expired because I'm not gonna pass on expired makeup to friends and family. I'm not gonna do it, but if it's not expired and still usable, I'll go ahead and sanitize and then I'll pass it on to them to see whoever wants it. When I have brand new makeup and I know I'm not gonna use it, like these two blushes right here, I have a whole box that I have and I donate makeup to a shelter in Long Beach, so I need to find another shelter because I keep donating to the same one recently. So yeah, I do do, do ugh, I do do donations and I also pass on to friends and family. And I know people are saying, oh, it'd be good if you donated. It's like, don't assume because I've been doing it. So yeah, I always, I've been doing that already for the past, two years now so so let's move on with the declutter I just got rid of these ones as well so on the side right here I have my Marc Jacobs blushes I really love these blushes they last really long um, this one I haven't used just yet but I know I want to eventually use it the quality of these blushes are phenomenal this is one of my favorite ones it is called kink and kisses right here it's a perfect everyday blush right here uh, and I absolutely love this one. So all of these I'm going to keep. I have an old, old makeup store blush. It's a very beautiful color, but I'm just going to get rid of it because I haven't used it in a while. I have these two Ulta blushes, which I absolutely really like. Uh, this one is a new one. There's another one around here because I've already used it. I thought that was it. So here's a new one. I'm going to keep this one in Fantasy. This is one I do love. Honey Bunny Perfect Everyday Blush. I'm going to keep these two because... I, I want to use them. I know I do. These are two NYX blushes. This one I've already had. This one's Pink the Town. I haven't really used it. Let's see. I'll swatch it. Mm, I actually like that one. So I'll probably keep this blush. As far as this dark one, I'm going to get rid of it because I just know I'm not going to use it. Okay, hopefully that helps right there. I just put my ring light so you guys can see more of everything. I have two Tarte blushes right here. This is in the shade Amour. Haven't really used it. I'm actually going to put this to the side because I know I won't use it. And then this one is called Classic. Haven't used this one too much either, but I'm just going to put it to the side because I know I have other Tarte blushes like this palette that I just want to make sure I utilize. So, And I have a ton of blushes right here, so there's no point of keeping those other ones. So now, oh, here's that. Oh, I thought that was the Ulta one because the Ulta, they look like the same packaging except they're obviously larger. But this is a Sigma blush. Is this? Yes, I love Heavenly. I'm definitely keeping this one. It is one of my favorite, favorite blushes. It's just a perfect everyday flush. Definitely keeping that one. Oh, here's the other Ulta one I was talking about that I've used. I really love this one as well, Melrose. I'm gonna keep this one just so I can have two um, Ulta blushes and two NYX blushes on deck. Now these are the ones that I really have to get rid of because I have just way too many. It is just ridiculous. This is the shade Red Vino. Um, let me swatch it, yeah. I don't think I'll use this one so I'm gonna toss it to the side. This one is Bellissimo. This one looks really pretty though, let's see. Okay, this one I will keep because I can definitely see myself using a shade like this for spring and summer. This one is Berry Amour. I have a lot of pink blushes. This one is going to the side. Here is, oh, Luminoso. We all love this one. This one's like super popular on YouTube. Keeping it, this is Rose Dioro. Oh, I know this one's really pretty as well, but I haven't used it in forever. I'm going to have to pass this on. Here's the berry tone one. Maybe I'll keep this one because I don't have a berry tone one from Milani. 
I'll keep the berry tone one. As far as this hot pink one, I'm going to pass it on. And for this one, Dulce Pink, mm, actually, you know what? I'm gonna get rid of the berry one and keep the Dulce Pink because I see myself using that one more. And I'm gonna get rid of that one. Okay, and then these are the two Milani ones I decided to keep. And already, look how much space I already have in my drawers. And a lot of you guys are saying how you love how ruthless I am in my whole declutter that I just get rid of stuff. And I honestly, don't like keeping that much makeup. I mean, I know this is already a lot, but it's. I just really wanna just downsize as much as I can. We'll get to the palettes in a second. Here's a Too Faced blush um, and something about Berry. I just like it, honestly, because of the packaging, so I'm just gonna keep this one because, just because I am, I really like that one. Is this an orgasm or what is this? So I have these little duos that I have with a bronzer and blush. This one's in what shade orgasm and laguna i'm gonna keep these ones because these are really good for travel sometimes i'll keep these or just on the go when i want like a blush and a bronzer in my purse sometimes i just bring extra makeup just in case um in case i know that i might get splotchy or i might sweat within the day here's super orgasm this one's like super shiny i'm gonna keep this one because i believe i had a subscriber give this to me like so long ago so i like to keep these things I have this sem sample of Bella Bomba. I'm gonna get rid of it because I don't need any samples. Um, I have this ombre br blush from NYX. Ooh, whoa, I don't know if I'll use that. This one's in soft flush. Maybe I'll keep that one just to, just to see. Let's see, what is this one? Here's a blush in deep throat. I totally forgot I had this one. See, this is why I wanna just like get rid of stuff because then it just helps me out. I have these little Too Faced samples of lo of Your Love is King and So Happy Together. Uh, I do have the full sizes of, oh no, this one was the Kat Von D collection and then with Too Faced and then here's just like a little sample. Uh, I'm just gonna keep these because I really like the packaging of these and then I'll keep the heart ones. I'll probably keep them in one section. Maybe I'll keep like a Too Faced section back here. Yeah, so that all fits right there. Okay, I have this Lorac one, and um, I'm just gonna pass this on because I've never, ever used it. It's a Kat Von D blush. I believe these blushes got discontinued, right? Uh, I really like this shade just because it's really pretty for every single day, uh, but I haven't used it in a long time, so I'm just gonna pass it on. Here's a NARS one. Oh my gosh, I totally forgot I had this. See, this is why, oh, this is, this is terrible, you guys. I'm gonna keep this because I need to use it. Maybe I'll do like my NARS section. Here's my Marc Jacobs, here's Milani, Too Faced, and I'll do my NARS section right, right here. This one is a ColourPop blush. I'm gonna keep it because it's very affordable and I really like ColourPop and I haven't used that one. Uh, here's the NYX one. I already showed you that, the ombre I showed you. Here's a Sigma powder in this pink shade and I have used it before but it is a little light for me. Um, I can eventually use it though so I'm just gonna keep this one. Uh, these are all my Becca, Becca blushes and I can't get rid of them. They're all my favorites. I, even though I haven't used this dark one, I just know I'm gonna end up using it during fall time again. This pink one is so stunning. They blend really nice. Like one of my favorite ones is Tiger Lily. Ooh, I've used this one too and it looks so pretty. Especially now that I've been self tanning and it'll look good. Okay, here's a NARS palette, and here's a cheek palette, and this is probably one of my favorite cheek palettes, even though you probably wouldn't think so. Uh, it's a really stunning palette. So all these palettes I'm most likely going to keep because I really also love this Tarte one that I got with all the different shades. I'm keeping this one as well. Here's a NARS palette, and I loved this palette when it came out. It was also one of my favorites, so I'm also going to keep it. I have a Morphe Brushes palette, and I haven't used this at all. I want to give it a chance. Um, yeah, I'm just going to give it a chance, so I'm going to keep this one. I'm still really iffy on Morphe. The eyeshadows are uh, but I haven't really tried the cheek products. Here's a palette that I got during Christmas time. I remember getting this during at Sephora during Christmas. Uh, I really love this palette though. It's just so bulky. But I just know how bulky it is, you know what I mean? Like I doubt I'm gonna travel with this, but I really love the packaging. 
This one I'm gonna have to maybe say maybe, so I'm gonna keep this on the side and I'll decide later. But now that I might have more room, I'm gonna try to put my palettes up on the sides or in the front so I can actually see them, you know? So I can, see now that I have more room back here, so these babies can maybe come up here so that they don't get hidden. Here are my e.l.f. palettes. I absolutely love this one. The best $4.99 I've ever spent in my life. This is the medium to dark. I also have the light to medium, which is right here. I love this palette. Highly suggest that you guys get these because they last really well, and they're probably like the best pigmentation. Oh, I just love it. Here's my Naked Flush. I absolutely love this palette, especially during spring and summer, so I'm really excited to use this again this year, keeping it. One of my favorite drugstore palettes, I annihilate this one. It's always filthy, as you can see. I use this all the time. And I'm so surprised I haven't hit Pam because I use it so much. Let's see. Here's another one that I got. And, you know, I did not like these blushes whatsoever. I thought they were really patchy on me and I didn't like the pigmentation of them. It just looks super weird and muddy, so I'm getting rid of this one. But if you ever want to try a Maybelline one, try this one. It is awesome. It comes in a light to medium and then also the medium to deep shade. I also got this L'Oreal one, and I haven't tried these out because the colors were so freaking bright. And I was like, whoa, when am I going to wear these? But now that it's spring and summer, I'm going to finally test this baby out. I have a Wet n Wild and Mellow Wine. Obsessed with this, ugh, obsessed with this one. I can't believe it got hidden in the front. Pretty disappointed on that because I love this one and I just discovered this probably like last month I started using it again. It's in my Wet n Wild try on, my Whooper Womp. I have some Tarte blushes that I depotted not too long ago so I'm gonna keep these and I got rid of like the bulky packaging. Now let's go from back here. Um, I have my LA Girl Pinky. I do not use this whatsoever so I'm getting rid of this. But the one that I do like is not this one. This one is called Glam, and I don't use this one. Where's the one I like? And I'm going to get rid of this one. Let's see. This one is Ish. What the heck? Ish. Contour Kit Light Medium. Wow, this one looks really pretty. Looks pretty, but I already have other highlights, so I'm going to get rid of it. Oh, here's the one I like. I love Spice. LA Girl Spice. It's like mainly the only one I like, so I'll only keep this one. And then here's my Beige Cosmetics Forever Nude, which I do love this one, but I haven't used it in a while, and I don't see myself really using these darker shades, and I'm just going to have to pass this on. This NARS one, let's see what this one is. Ooh, I really loved this palette when it came out. It was one of my favorites. I obviously hit pan and stuff like that. Uh, I'm gonna keep it just I'm gonna keep it like in my little my little NARS section I know I said section, but I'm putting other things in there, but here's the little NARS area moving on Sorry, I had to get my chair. So if you hear something squeaking, it's my cheap ass Ikea chair So I have um, some bomb blushes right here. Here is down boy It's a really nice pink shade. I've had this for a while. I'm gonna get rid of it It's just it's been way too long frat boy I think the packaging is so adorable, but oh, well, no, I can't. I can't keep these anymore. I have to use my other ones. Uh, one that I do, oh, I do like this Instain one, but I haven't used it in a while. I have to get rid of it. You guys, I don't want to hoard anymore, but one I will not get rid of is Hot Mama because I love this shade and I love the packaging too much. I think it's just too cute, so keeping that one. As far as my um, Benefit blushes, these are the only three that I really like from their line, so I'm going to keep all of these three. Hervana, which is really great for every day. It's like a really nice pink flush. So is Dallas. This one gives you more like a burnt pink look, like a bronzy look. And then Rockator, which is that pink shiny type of everyday feel. So keeping those three box blushes, like I said, those are the only three shades I really like. Here's another Tarte blush. I haven't used this one in a while. Uh, I'm just going to have to pass it on. Oh, I don't know. Should I? Because I do like this shade. Yeah, Daydream. Um, okay, no. I'm going to keep this one. Here's another Sigma blush in Born 2. What is it called? In Born 2. I haven't used it in a while, so I'm not going to use that one. Okay, here's a Sigma cream blush in Bliss, Bliss Summer. Uh, let's see. I could use this during the pool times because I don't have a lot of cream blushes. Uh, but I do have some ColourPop over here. I'll think about it. So here's one of my favorite Sigma blushes. And you can definitely tell because Sigma isn't even on the front. But this one is in Serene. It is my favorite, favorite, favorite shade. Oh my gosh. I love this shade for every day. Definitely keeping this baby. I just love it. 
Uh, here's another NYX blush. This one is in the shade Intuition. Looks really pretty. Uh, could be a really, ooh, that looks really pretty. Look at that. Okay, I'm going to keep that one. Uh, I do have a Makeup Geek blush. What is this one? Infatu yeah, Infatuation. Love this shade. Perfect for every day. All my MAC ones, I'm going to keep probably some Basque. Love that one. So here's another Makeup Geek blush in Puppy Love. Let's see if I like it. Oh, yeah. I like this shade. It's like good for every day. Almost looks like the Sigma one, except this one pulls a little bit more lilac. Not lilac, like mauve. So this whole section is okay to stay. I feel like I want to keep like my little NYX blushes in there too and stuff. So I don't know. I can organize later. Like here's my NYX one and these little round ones. Last two sections for my blush. Now here's one. This is from Motives. Um, does Motives still exist? I mean, I'm not even trying to be funny. Like does it still exist? I really want to look that up now. Uh, so I have a Motives blush. Haven't used it in like forever so I'm gonna get rid of it uh, like I said all my MAC blushes I'm basically going to keep because I really do enjoy all of them and in the end I'll back to MAC them and some people didn't know what back to MAC is and when you recycle uh, six pieces you get either a free lipstick there's another Makeup Geek blush. Let's see the shade. Ooh, love that one. Oh, but it's an infatuation and this is like the newer packaging so that means that this one can actually go to someone else. And here's my only Charlotte Tilbury. This one is cheek to cheek and I act, or what? Cheek to chic. And I actually really, really love it. It's a stunning shade, especially for right now. So super glad to rediscover that. I'm sad that that was just buried. That's, that's very sad. Warm Soul, if you ever know, like don't know what blush to get from MAC first, Warm Soul is an awesome first blush. What is it? Oh, Dainty. It's like a really nice pink blush, keeping that one. Let's just put that Charlotte Tilbury to keep it in place. Oh, I totally forgot I got this Kevin Aquan blush. See, this is so bad. This is why it's awesome to like, you know, get rid of things you don't need. What are these three? I on Oh, my cream blushes from Makeup Forever. These are so bomb. I remember when I discovered these, I couldn't believe how long they lasted. Um, they are really, really good. So, and this one looks like a perfect everyday. So I'm actually going to keep these three because then I also have this cream blush. So I'm going to try to keep all my cream blushes together. And let's go through my color pop to see which ones I'm unfortunately going to have to get rid of because I know there's probably some shades that are just funky that I really don't need and someone else may love to try. This one I've all obviously already tried. Quarters, I love that shade. Ooh, look at this pink one. See, this is what I'm talking about. So let's put the shades that I know that are like not me, like this one. I love orangey shades. I still want to keep like a pink, but we'll see which pink I, oh, see, this is like so me every day. Any kind of like burnt orange or apricot, keeping, keeping, keeping. Let's put that on the side, keeping and keeping. Okay, so those are the some cream blushes. So let's see out of these crazy colors, which ones I should really keep. I mean, it is pretty like good to keep a color that you don't have in your collection. So I am a fan of oranges, so I'll keep one, one of these. And now I'm gonna think about which one I wanna pick out of these two. I think I'm gonna keep I know I'm gonna get rid of this one, and I'm just gonna keep these two funky colors because I actually think that that's pretty cool. Maybe I'll think of something creative for like a post or something. And then I also have this cream stick from NARS, which is a pink one, which I haven't used yet, and I'm gonna keep that. Stila one, um, I actually ended up liking this one. I know a lot of people didn't, so I'm gonna give it another try because I mean, I know I do like it, but I don't think it lasts that well, so we'll give it a try. I got so rid of so many blushes. So these are all the blushes that I ended up getting rid of all along here, all of these blushes. So I got rid of a lot of them, and now I'm like so happy with my new drawer. It just looks so much more organized. So now we are gonna go on to the highlighter drawer, which I doubt I'll get rid of anything. <laughs> okay guys, so now here's my highlighter drawer, and it's actually really organized because I have gone through this already before and I just organized everything. Uh, I have lots of space in the back. So these are all my Bobbi Brown shimmer bricks. And the reason why I have them separate and not like stacked like these ones is because I love reading the name. Well, not like I love, but I like to read the names on the back so I know which one I'm grabbing just because I know which one is which. Because if they're like this, I don't know what the hell I'm grabbing. So I'm gonna leave them like that. Now in this drawer, this is kind of like a little mini collection. I have some 
Laura Geller. I have all four shades. I know they just launched a brand new shade. Um, a little mini Becca. Whoops. A Josie Marin. And I have all my Artist Couture and my Stila Kitten. So this drawer I'm going to leave alone just because it's really nice and organized and I like the way it looks. Uh, back here, I actually have this MAC one. This one is what? Silver Dusk. And fun fact, this was like my very first highlighter I ever, ever purchased at MAC. And it's a huge tub and it's super shimmery and just, I don't know, I just loved it all over my eyes and cheeks and yeah, it is pretty va va voom, but um, I'm going to keep this one just because it's just special to me because it was my very first highlighter I ever bought. So yeah, and then one of my... Um, the first highlighters that I bought that was super expensive and I splurged on was this Chanel one because you guys know my mom loves Chanel makeup and so I splurged on this one. It's this gold one. I honestly don't even think they have this one, but I remember I got it and it's just so like <laughs> gold, but it's so pretty. Look. It looks so luxurious and this is my very first like super high-end product that was like definitely over 40 bucks and I was just like whoa it's like my all my money went to this so I'm gonna keep those just because I don't know it has like fun little you know memories and all that but okay let's go through these ones um, I have this Too Faced one this one came from that collection Kat Von D I believe like with the yeah you guys know what I'm talking about I did a whole video on it I'm gonna keep it because it is new if this is my NARS peach duo keeping yeah I'm obsessed with these I need to use these more all my NARS ones I'm gonna keep I'm keeping let's see what I wouldn't keep um I'm gonna back to Mac this I don't like the shade I don't think it looks good on me uh, I just thought it was pretty at first it's just too faint and it's nothing really any special, like anything special. I, I got this Laura Mercier one off of Glambot. Like you can sell and buy used makeup. Uh, but I wanted this one just because I liked the tones of it. Because I like the peachiness. Because I find like a lot of brands don't have like a ton of peachy ones. But I don't really use it a lot. And I don't really care for the packaging. So I'm just going to get rid of it. There's an Anastasia one that should go here. I have my Anastasia, my Makeup Forever's my Becca's right here. I have all my Mac ones, all my Gerard and a Mac. I have an Ulta one. This one's an illuminating powder. Let's see if I need this one because, well, this one's really pretty. Look at that. Okay. I can't, I have to keep it. I don't know about this pink one though. This one I might not want watch. I'm like, Oh my gosh. I okay. never mind. Just kidding. I was lying. As far as these makeup revolution strobing ones, I really do like them. I'm going to get rid of this one because I know I won't use the pink one. This one is really pretty, but let's see. If I do keep one, let's see what shade I'll like better. So here's one where it has like that greenish tone, which is really similar to that Kat Von D uh, Alchemy or Alchemist palette. And then here's another one, which is pinky and it's pretty similar. So I'm actually going to end up keeping those two shades and just getting rid of that pink one. I have two more makeup forever. Let's see what else. I have this Laura Geller. This is the all over face and body glow in Tahitian glow. Let's see what this looks like. This might be good for like, you know, when I want a little shimmer. Mm, not really crazy about the tone. So I'm going to get rid of this one. One dose of colors, Estee Lauder heat wave, candlelit glow from Too Faced. We have this Stila one, which is one so popular. The kit. Oh my gosh. And it is, it just all went in there. I'm getting rid of it. Man, it just all cracked in there. I'm, I'm getting rid of this and uh, be right back. Okay, so, um, whoa. <laughs> I'm gonna just break more of them, right? So I do have these ones. These are the Lumi Glows. I'm only gonna keep the gold one because I can only see myself using this one. I'm gonna get rid of the pink pearl one. I just know there's so many other good drugstore um, highlighters out there now. Uh, let's see, this one is, I love these Rimmel contour palettes. This is when I kind of get in the into the question of do I keep them up here with like my blush with those half duos like the NARS ones or what should I do with these because it's like an all in one. So I don't know. I feel like they should be up here with like the blush because then my bronzers are right up above. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to do that. So those aren't even supposed to be there. Here I have a backup. So excited I found this. I think I found it on 
Glam Bot, and it was a backup of Apricot. It is my favorite, favorite Bobbi Brown highlight. It is, It was limited edition, I believe, um, but it's my favorite. Here, I'll show you since I like talked about it so much. And it's kind of cracked, but it is my favorite shade. It looks pretty ugly in the pan now that I look at it, but when you swatch it and you put it on the cheeks, it's like this apricot, see? It's, it's really pretty, it's my favorite one. So that's why I have a backup of that one. So this drawer is all done, on to the other. Oh, okay, so I have a Makeup Forever Starlet Powder. I don't know why this one is in here. Oh, it came out of here, right? So I have them in this little bag because that's how they sent them. So I'm gonna try these out. I'm gonna take them out of the bag and actually just put them, I don't know, I guess in the front. I have my brand new Smashbox Casey Holmes. I haven't tried the pearl palette, but I have been using the golden one, so I haven't tried out pearl. Uh, my Nicole Guerrero. People were asking me about this, what my thoughts were, because I know there was a lot of mixed reviews. Um, I'm gonna be very honest. I do like this palette, but I will say I wish there were no glitters in it. When you do apply it, the glitters do lay on my face personally, but what I just do is I just do a couple swipes and the glitters are basically gone. Uh, I will maybe have a couple, but it's nothing like, oh my gosh, I can't stand it. But I don't like the chunky glitters in it. I'm not really sure why they're in there because if she just had the shades like this, it is honestly perfection, but I think it gets a 99 out of 100 just because I love supporting other YouTubers too, but the glitters, I will say, they do lay on my face. When you just swatch them, you kind, you kind of can see them, but once you just like swipe them away, then they're gone. So it's not a big deal. So that's the only thing. I don't think the glitter stay on her face. So if you've been on the fence, I think it's a good palette. And I really like it. I love the shades. Just because I love these shades, like Apricot like and this Golden. Like These ones are my favorite. These four, actually these five. This one, not so much. I'm not really into like the super bright shades. But I mean, you got to toss one in there, right? So I do like it. Here's my Anastasia Glow Kit. I do like this one as well. Um... Okay, you guys, I've said like for five million times I have a Pixie Get Ready and I never put it up. I don't know if I will put it up now just because it's been like a month since I filmed that thing. Oh, you guys, I'm so sorry. These are new palettes. I haven't um, really tried them too much, but I know I like them over or by Aspen. Uh, so I do like the quality of these ones much more, so I'm definitely keeping these ones. Uh, I did a review on these really affordable highlighters from Revolution. I love this. It, it's just so good. And I love, oh, this one, Peach Kiss, right? Yeah, Peach Kiss, one of my favorites. Huge freaking highlighter, super cheap, really affordable and beautiful. This is the highlighter I was telling you about by Aspen Novard. I mean, I love supporting other YouTubers, but I just find this product just to be... Mm, not the best. It's a little bit chunk. It just doesn't feel as smooth like it applies nice right there I mean I'll keep this shade just because I didn't really care for the other one it didn't look good on me I have my wild and radiant illuminating bronzing palette haven't really used this one I have to use it in like a new BH cosmetics like video you know so I can try it out city color palette and these ones are really pretty so I definitely like I said I'm not, I wasn't sure how much I was really going to you know just get rid of Here's a palette that I haven't used at all, and the other day I had it, and I was going through my makeup, and I was swatching them. I mean, they look really pretty. It's just that the palette is really huge. Um, I'll have to see on this one. Oh, I straight up have, like, a neighbor that just, like, looked upstairs right now. Okay, so... <laughs> They're, like, walking their kid. Oh, my gosh. I have to show you so you guys know that I'm, like, not making this up. They looked up. They are like, walking their kids. See, I don't make these things up. This Revolution palette is so bomb. I highly recommend for you to get it. I believe it was $14.99. $14.99 of goodness. I have to use this way more in videos. I don't know what the heck my issue is. Well, that's why I'm, like, you know, trying to go through my makeup and declutter and rearrange my room so I can see my freaking collection. Here's my one of my glow kits and the other glow kit. Absolutely love those. Oh wait, this glow kit, out of all the glow kits, this one was the worst one. And it, it looks like it would be the most stunning, right? Because of all those goldens. It didn't lay right. I don't know why. Like they're just more, way more chunky. I'm going to keep it just because 
that's just a little hoarder in me. So let me just keep this one. Here's all the Makeup Geek highlighters. They did send them out, but I, get, I already donated other ones um, that weren't these two just because I didn't need the ones for darker skin or lighter skin tones. I have all my Jouer, which I love. My Cover FX, I have to go through, th through these because whenever I talk to people, they're like, dude, how come you never use these? And I'm like, um, because they look crazy on me. They're just so intense and really pigmented. I guess I just need to work with them a little bit more. I mean, look at that. It looks like I have like glowing... <laughs> they are really beautiful, but they're just so intense i mean look at that that's a lightning bolt on my hand like brow. so i gotta work with those um i like all these cream highlighters as well um i like the peach glow one this tart one i did not care for for some reason um it wasn't anything special and i didn't like the middle shade it does nothing it's like a matte one and this one does nothing so surprisingly i'm gonna pass this on that's how much i didn't like it Oh, this one too. Violet Voss Pro Highlighting. Didn't really care for this one either. Nice, but this middle one's super rough and chunky. And I don't know. I'm going to pass it on. Kathleen Lights Makeup Geek Collaboration. I stopped using this one too. I mean, I like the gold shade and I like this middle. Uh, but I just need to use it more. And I love supporting um, YouTubers, so I'm definitely going to keep that as well. As far as this stuff over here... I do not even know. This is the poured one, right? Okay, I have my Becca poured, which are actually really nice. I have my Sigma ones and some ColourPop highlighters. Um, I don't think I need this one right here. It looks a little bit dark, right? Oh, no. It's actually... Oh, that's pretty bronze, though. But I don't have... <gasps> no, that was too pretty now that I swatched it. It's called Might Be. And back on to the side. I have this Narvalent one I'm going to keep. This Sunbeam, I don't ever use it. I'm going to put it to the side. This Alta one, I'm going to keep it. It's pretty similar to like the Maybelline one, but I like it. This one, it is so good. I love the way this shade looks. Um, I have a Benefit What's Up, going to keep it. Uh, I have this Sigma one. This one is really pretty too. My Benefit High Beam, I'm just going to toss it. It's just old. I have the Becca ones, which I'll keep. This is like an old MAC one, and I'm going to back to MAC it. Oh, the cream highlighters. I haven't even really used... I haven't used these, actually. So I'm going to undo this one because I know I won't use that white shade. Let's see. That one I know I'll definitely use. This one is Ella Masqua or Ella Masca, whatever you guys want to say. Um, I haven't used this ooh, at all. Why is it kind of, feel, does that feel weird? Maybe because I have powder already on me. I'm not going to use it. I already know it. So I'm going to pass it on the side. Two L'Oreal Lumi strobe creams, which I'll keep for drugstore. All right, you guys. So here is all the stuff I ended up getting rid of. Palettes, blushes, and different highlighters. And I, I'm really surprised how much I toss. So I don't know. It just feels really good when you just like reset. You can put new products, try new things, and really appreciate your collections. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and I'll leave all my previous videos linked down below. Love you guys. Woo!